Hey, y'all, I'm Eric Estrada. And I'm Chip Lovelace. <laughs> and we're the Trailer Choir. Holla! You're on the Country Music Minute. So we're about to shoot this interview. Anything you don't want me to discuss? Well, it's kind of funny. Uh, Vinny's not here yet, but he always gets all the attention. Like, I get interviewed with Vinny. It's like I speak twice. So I say we play a little practical joke on him. Will you, instead of calling him Vinny, call him Lenny? Lenny, and the see, whole entire time. See, see how long he could go? Because he and I will start laughing. And I'll know why he's laughing, but he... I think it would be funny, so just okay. Just call him Lenny, and we'll let it go a few times, and then we'll like. And then are you gonna call me out? Cause he's gonna think I'm stupid in the interview. I might, I may, I may <laughs> not. But let's just let's just act like the whole time we never talked about it. Okay, right. let's do this interview. Yeah. Are we are we good? We're good. All right. All right. Psh. Hi guys, y'all are watching Country Music Minute, and I am hanging out with Lenny and Butter of Trailer Choir here in Nashville, Tennessee. How are you guys? Doing great. Doing fantastic. Yeah, I'm so excited to be talking to you two. It's already been a hoot off camera, so... We've been having fun the whole time. We have been having fun and eating chocolate. <laughs> I like your overalls. Thank you. It took, they're, they're okay, I just want you crisp. all to know, it took him longer to get ready than it did it me did. today. It did. Yeah, but you, but you look nice. I like well, I, I came in and uh, I was ready for a workout. I thought we were doing a workout on camera. I had my gym clothes it on. It was. It was supposed to be. But then all of a sudden you're like, get your butt over to the Army Navy surplus and get you some overalls. And I had to go get some overalls. So, did, so did you already work out this morning? I did already work out this you morning. You did already yeah. work out this morning. Okay. Just well, cardio. No lifting yet. No lifting. Well, you're already pretty buff. I'm trying to trying to get there. Butter's my trainer. Okay. So. Well, for fans that don't know you guys. How did you two meet? How did Trailer Choir come about? Well, actually, in a building that no longer exists on Music yeah, Row, we met one evening at about 4 o'clock in the evening, and uh, or in the morning. In the morning. Excuse yeah. me. A.M. Hey, <laughs> I was sipping on some uh, West Virginia moonshine, apple pie style, and uh, Vinny was uh, renting an office that was right next to the one I was kind of renting. So. Yeah. We ended. We we had seen each other in passing, maybe four or five times over about a year's period, and then uh, it was just one of those moments. Like I was sitting there playing the guitar, and uh, he's like, "Hey, man, I've been seeing you." And we talked, and Hang on, let's reference this though. Was it love at first sight? It was <laughs> because I saw a guy that was playing the guitar that only had two strings, but he made it work somehow, yeah. and he had a jar of moonshine. So it's like we sat down, we become instant friends until the next morning. So trailer choir, why the name trailer choir? Well, look at us. We can kind of see the trailer <laughs> yeah. part just by looking at us. But the trailer the choir, comes out easy. The choir we, we is sing along with yeah, music. We write yeah. songs that people want to sing along to, and we you know, and then we sing other people's songs that people want to sing along to. So. Yeah. And we secretly uh, would like to be in a, a black gospel choir. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So those are the best churches to go to. I mean, if yeah. you really want to feel some Jesus, that then you better Jesus. go. That is Jesus. I believe, yeah. I believe they to see Jesus. Yeah. I do too. Yes. <laughs> Well, okay, so Butter, that's obviously a nickname for you. How how did you get the name Butter? Years of uh, really good decisions with cold <laughs> beer. With cold beer. Yeah. Uh, that's how you make butter, actually. Yeah, well, I'm on it like Blue Bonnet, as they say, uh, from where I'm from. No, I actually am, my real name is Butter. Uh, uh, I grew up on a dairy farm up in Ohio, and uh, we raised Chippendales and Holsteins. So. Yeah, so are you an Ohio State fan? I am a Buckeye fan. Yes, are you? Um, are you? You're Michigan. I am from North Carolina, so I'm an Appalachian State fan, mm. and we beat Michigan. Y'all beat Michigan. We so beat Michigan. Yeah. I mean, I don't know my football that great, but I do know some football. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I do know I like Appalachian State. Yeah. Now, hey, I like some Appalachian State. I am born and raised right here in Tennessee, so I'm a Tennessee Vols fan through and through. Yeah. It's been a rough few years, but we're starting to climb, even though somehow we keep losing in the fourth quarter. This is this is about my favorite time of year when it's just like it's starting to get cold. It's fall, and then there's football season. What's your favorite football team? And you just said the Vols, but well, as far as NFL, I mean, I'm a Titans guy because I'm from here. But you know what? The Titans are playing the Panthers on November fifteenth, and I have a feeling my team might actually win a game. The Titans. <laughs> no, the Panthers. Oh. <laughs> I'm from North Carolina, so yeah. yeah. We well, all made playoffs last year, right? We did, we did. Well, okay, so I was reading a little bit on your website, and um, you guys, you were a team, and then you went on hiatus, and now you're kind of back, and, you know, you're doing all these cool things and a new show, and you took time to go away and, and work on some health issues, and you were on The Biggest Loser 
can you touch on that experience? I know when I was reading on your website, like you have been an influence to people, not only musically, but in their personal lives as well. And what, what do you have to say to fans about well, you that? Know, we reached a point um, where I was very sick yeah. and I had to go to the hospital. I was a couple of days away from losing my leg to diabetes and some other stuff. And from, you know, just eating bad all the time and never taking care of myself and all that, you know, I, I was always physically active. If you look at the old videos, you know, I was very agile and stuff like that, but I just didn't eat right. And, you know, so anyways, I, I called Butter and I said, look, man, I said, I think I, I might need to try and go on Biggest Loser. I might need to try and go on this show because I don't know how I'm going to lose all this weight that I need to lose without it. And uh, he said, well, man, he said, whatever we got to do. And I said, you know, that means we won't be able to tour. We won't be able to make any money, all that kind of stuff. And that's hard, you know I mean? Yeah. That's how we make our money is by playing shows. So we had to take that time off. And for me to go get healthier, I wouldn't be here now, you know. So Butter had my back the whole way. And he's like, man, whatever you need to do. He said, we'll figure it out, you know. And uh, and we did. And so we, we took that whole year, basically, because I was gone for six months to Biggest Loser. Took that whole year for me to go get healthy. Um, as soon as I got back, Butter was getting ready to have his first kid. So we kind of took another few, you know, a little bit off. And then we come back after about a year and we started just playing little shows here and there and now we got a full tour schedule and new record deal and all that kind of stuff. You know, you're, we're teammates through and through, you know, and yeah. we, we, we're best mm -hmm. friends and we, you know, we fight like best friends and we're best friends all the time, you know, yeah. it, it, and I would fight for him like a best friend too, so. You went on hiatus and, you know, and, and Vinny was gone and when you came back, did, did that like change your relationship any, or I mean, I mean, it had to be hard for you to, you know, to watch your friend go through this and um, like, how has that shaped your writing? And the songs that you guys are putting out there now, I think it's I think it's been a dramatic change. You know, I think for him, uh, first of all, we didn't speak for almost eight months because yeah. he was sequestered, and you know, it, it's a situation where you, you're at some point you're not really a hundred percent sure what to expect. <clears throat> when we did see each other, first of all, he looked different. He was a different human being. I think he went through a time period where. He had to kind of refigure himself out, you yeah. know, and he needed to kind of, so I, and, and I wasn't, it wasn't a pressure thing, but it was just, I think we just kind of took our time. Um, I think it was difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, the outcome, I think, has proved to be great. I think yeah. we became better, I think we became closer friends. I think we became better business people together. I think our music and, you know, at the time we were, you know, we had a, a trio, so we had a female vocalist. And then it just became us. And I think through this whole thing, we've kind of found a, a more solid ground uh, to stand well, on. We really grew up a lot. You wrote a song while Lenny was gone. And excuse me, because I'm not good at remembering song titles. But maybe, and maybe you can help me with this. Do you know what song I'm talking about? The, um, yeah, the Love lit? Me First. Yeah, Love Me First. And I was listening to that. And, it, you know, it's just it's so true. You have to love yourself before you can love anyone else. And I would just... I was able to relate to that song, and I just thought, you know, was that written about Lenny? Yeah, completely. We, uh, um, it's, it's Vinny. 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 Oh, that's Vinny. Did I say Lenny? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm definitely having a brain fart. Well, I, 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 I think we should keep this, because... <laughs> Um, I thought maybe you just had an L and a V thing going on, but I, oh I wasn't God. sure. I just honestly thought you thought I looked like Lenny Cooper. Yeah, I, no. thought, that's what I, thought. I thought it was oh. Lenny Kravitz myself. Vinny, but here's the Vinny deal. I don't know why I've been saying Lenny. It's I apologize. Okay. <laughs> I, I, at first, we, when you first said it, I thought you said V, but it sounded a little l -ish. You know, I've got my Levinny. L's and my V's yeah. messed up. <laughs> Your consonants are not quite on track today. Consonants so are not So anyway, consonants. the thing is, with Love Me First, with, with Love Me First, it's... um. <laughs> It's a situation where, yes, he was gone, and I didn't know what was really happening, but I uh, was just thinking, hey, what can I do to try to do something for him or for us while he's gone yeah. that would matter when he gets back so that we could hit the ground running? I didn't know how much he was writing or if he had a chance to write anything, so I wanted to take the opportunity to try to put something in place that once he got off the show, we would have some opportunity. And I'm not trying to make it sound so corporate or so business, but we uh, intentionally set out to write something and ended up writing something that made me discover more about myself than it ended up being about him. Although it was yeah. written towards mm -hmm. him, it's like it completely uh, – Love Me First is a song all about just 
you gotta you gotta come from here before you're gonna be able to you know reach mm -hmm. anybody out. So. Yeah, yeah, it's so true. And I listened to a couple of songs, and that's one that I really related to. So what's next for you guys? I mean, you're you're obviously you're you're out on tour, and you've got lots of cool things happening. Tell us and the fans like where you're heading next. Well, uh, depending on when this airs or where you <laughs> see it, we are shooting a music video next uh, next week for a song that we wrote called uh, "Ice Cold Summer." Mm -hmm which is our summertime party anthem that we hope everybody in the world is singing in 2016. Uh, so we're shooting sort of the first half of the music video while it's still warm in here in uh, Tennessee. But we're on the tour, we're in the studio, we're writing, we're playing, we're... Um... Steve Harvey show. Oh, we might. They're <laughs> calling, they're calling. Yeah, we had this. Steve Harvey, I don't know if you see this, but Steve Harvey... Biggest Loser show episode. I hope you put him on here. Yeah. <laughs> if he's watching, if, if he's, he's watching, he'll, he'll, he'll be watching. watching. He, he don't miss anything. So. Okay, so we do this thing here on Country Music Minute. We test everyone's selfie game to see how strong it is. We've been doing this with all the oh, artists. And so we got to see how good your selfie game is. You guys, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm going to hold it first, and then, and then I'm going to let Butter hold it. Okay. We'll get no, two, no, di we'll get two different it. angles. Vinny? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, you ready? Okay. Now, Vinny, Vinny or Lenny? <laughs> Lineage. Lindo. Hang on. Yeah, it's good. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Boom. Cool. Thank you guys for hanging with me today. Is it over? It is over. We've only just begun. It's the best first date I ever had. <laughs> you guys are watching Trailer Choir here on Country Music Minute. Remember to subscribe to the link below for all things country here in Nashville.